Hi, this is Debbie from DontPerish.com. Today I would like to talk to Christian sisters about head covering. You know, in 1 Corinthians 11, it instructs women to wear head coverings. And we also see in the Old Testament that it was shameful for a woman to be uncovered. Now, I'm not going to teach that in this video today. You can go to our website, don'tperish.com, with your husband or elder, and you can read our articles on this. This video here is to encourage women who are already wearing them, and they see that in God's command. So, for you sisters out there, if you were anything like me, when I first learned about wearing head coverings, my first thought was, well, what does it look like? How big should it be? How much should it cover? How does all this work? Well, God's Word doesn't outline all of that, so we don't really know. But what we do know, if you look in the Greek words of it, it says the head covering part is to cover, to cover wholly and to hide. And it also has the word that means down. So what we get from this is that a head covering should be a veil. It says we are to veil ourselves. So that means it's a cloth, it covers our head, and it hangs down to hide it. So I'm sure many of you have been out there on the internet or seen pictures or whatever looking to see what kind of head coverings there are and you've come across many of them. Colorful, fancy ones, those are sinful. We're not to adorn ourselves. Some of them are really tiny and it leaves all your hair exposed. Some women leave all their hair down and put a little slip of cloth on the top. Some of them put it all up in a bun and put just a little tiny bun covering on the back of it. This is not covering. This is not hiding. This is not hanging down. In fact, it shows some vanity in a woman who is being rebellious to covering her hair and her head. So Jim and I have scrutinized the scripture for almost 10 years, and this is what we have come up with for me to wear in our household, is I wear a head covering that comes very far forward on the head, a little bit of hair in the front, no hair in the back. Sometimes I have a very long veil. If I leave my hair down, I cover it all in the back. Sometimes, especially in the summer, I put my hair up and I wear a veil that I tie and it's big, it's, it's loose and, and wrapped. And sometimes when it's colder out, I wear a shawl that I put it over the top of my head and I wrap it around and fling the ends around the back side of me and that offers full coverage and warmth. So it does a twofold in the winter time, so that's nice. As for color, my whole wardrobe is pretty neutral. We have chosen to go with blues, browns, blacks, just plain simple colors. I don't color coordinate. I don't try to make it look pretty. I don't try to make it look like anything other than what it is, a head covering. So I know I didn't give you a lot of specifics and maybe didn't answer a lot of questions, but I hope if anything this video has encouraged you to go more rather than less. And just remember, this is a glorious thing. Everything God gives us is a glorious thing. Even though the world looks down on it. Ladies, my Christian sisters, let your light shine. Have a joyous day. God be praised.